deceivers. Whereas <clears throat> in the Bible, the Old and New Testaments, our God is infinitely pure, infinitely righteous, infinitely holy, and cannot lie, cannot deceive, cannot mislead, because that's beneath his glorious character, and God by, by nature is unchangeable. So he's, he's immutably holy, immutably truthful, cannot be otherwise. Yet in the New Testament, the one who's the best at scheming, at misleading, at conniving, at deceiving, according to the New Testament, is not God, God forbid such blasphemy, but Satan. Mm -hmm. Revelation 12, 9, he's called that ancient serpent, the dragon, the devil, Satan, who misleads, deceives the whole world. That's a function of Satan, not a function of the true God, who's above and beyond lying and points. I think one of the things he tries to do is to show that the Allah of the Quran cannot be believed in because who is this Allah? He is Khairul Makirin and he's all of this, uh, you know, can we respect the character of Allah as depicted in the Quran? Uh, I, I didn't expect that the debate would come to this uh, level, but uh, since he has introduced this, I have with me here the Encyclopedia of Biblical Errancy by C. Dennis McKinsey. And on page 171, uh, he writes, first by way of summary, because later he'll give all of the biblical references on the ensuing pages for what he's claiming here. The claims may sound surprising, but uh, all of the references are there to back them up. Uh, what he says is, is this, and I quote his words, God created evil. Evil came from the Lord. He deceived and told people to lie. He rewarded liars. He ordered men to become drunk. He rewarded the fool and the transgressor. He delivered a man, Job, into Satan's hands. He caused indecency. He spread dung on people's faces. He ordered stealing. He made false prophecies. He changed his mind. He caused adultery. He ordered the taking of a harlot. He killed people. He ordered the killing of people. He has a temper. Uh, he's often jealous. He practiced injustice. He repented. He played favorites. He sanctioned slavery. He degraded deformed people. He punished bastards for being illegitimate. He punished many for the acts of one. He punished children for their father's sins. He punished a man for following his orders. He prevented people from hearing his words. He supported human sacrifice. He ordered cannibalism. He demanded virgins as a part of the war plunder. He ordered gambling. He required an unbethrothed virgin to marry her seducer. He ordered horses to be hamstrung. He sanctioned the violation of the enemy's women, uh, and, and so on and so forth. Now, I don't agree with everything the author says here, and obviously he's not referring to God as depicted in the Quran here. Uh, he is referring to God as depicted in the Bible. And uh, many of his statements are in fact quite true, and if you read the uh, references that he has given and check them in the pages of the Bible, you will see that they are in fact so. So since that is...